Some believe that in October, the borders between this world and the next grow thin. Well, for this series of October videos from the Relic Room, we're going to explore some artifact stories in which the border between history and legend grows thin. Stories in which perhaps the chill you feel won't entirely be from the autumn air. This is the uniform of Weller Rothrock, a Confederate veteran, not the uniform he wore while he was the first sergeant of the Holcomb Legion Infantry, but a reunion uniform bought for the many commemorative events uh, which occurred decades after the war. Rothrock was a man who deeply cared about how he and his comrades would be remembered down the centuries. Okay. Does Weller Rothrock still take an interest in how he's remembered? Some at the Relic Room have said so. When Rothrock's uniform was being prepared for display on a mannequin, whenever that mannequin was left alone, whether we went to lunch or came back in the morning, uh, the mannequin seemed to be slumped over a little bit uh, with one arm extended. We kept finding the mannequin in this position and happened to discover that one of Rothrock's items during the move had been separated from the rest of his stuff. Uh, it happened to be his silver-headed reunion cane. Was the old first sergeant giving us a hint? Well, we chuckled about it, told the story, and then after the exhibit was actually put up and his uniform was featured, one of his reunion ribbons is on it, but many others were placed in a drawer for visitors to pull out and look at. And one morning as we uh, sat over coffee in a break room, in came our curator of history at that time, someone who wasn't in on the previous stories whatsoever, and she asked, why is it when I leave in the evening that the drawers are always closed, but when I come back in the morning, so often one of them is open. Now, I'm not going to say I'm sure that I've seen it closed when I left in the evening. Uh, particularly not on a day when it happened to be open when I came back in the morning. But it was with the drawer that Weller Rothrock's legend here was solidified. Is it a case of the supernatural? Probably not, but it's a terrific illustration from the artifacts themselves and the care that Rothrock took with them while he was alive that these men were very concerned with how they would be remembered. For a closer look and more stories about the artifacts in our legendary series, come and see us on October 31st at noon for the Relic Room's Legendary Lunch and Learn.